What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cardboard Can and yep, I went ahead and did it. I couldn't help myself. I got another box of Super Electric Breaker. Um, decided to have one more go at it. Considering the ARs that we did hit in the previous one, I was really happy with the Magneton. Um, just because it was a personal chase card for me. It's one of the ones in the set that I was looking for. Um, I mean, obviously, to get the Pikachu would be nice. To get the Lattes would be nice. Apparently everybody's going um, insane over Leisure's Appeal. Um, which, I mean, any, any, any alt art at this point would be great to get, considering that, like, you know, I'm very limited on what Japanese product I'm going to get. And the only reason why I have invested in this particular set is because of the fact it's, you know, Pikachu's first SAR set. No other reason. Probably not something I'm going to do on, like, a very, how do I put it? Not saying I'm going to be doing on a very constant occasion unless something really special does come out on the Japanese side that I'm like, oh, I must have that in Japanese or I must have that. I think probably the next time it happens would have to be something like a a Ditto card or a Pseudo Wudo card or something like that would that would move me to want to get more Japanese product. Or, you know, considering everything, maybe just, just in general, just to kind of do it because it's fun. It's a little bit more affordable than English, that's for sure. Um, and obviously if I'd be collecting, if I'd be doing like this, I wouldn't be collecting, I wouldn't be cracking these boxes open to complete Master Set. So when I think about it, it's just more fun, right? It's, this is, this kind of scratches the itch from between, like in between set to set because I just look for Master Sets and I just go around and become a cardboard fiend whereas this kind of probably feeds a little bit into the whole point of becoming a cardboard fiend um it's sort of like you know you're on your uh you're on your daily errands you see a, a pokemon pack at your 7-eleven at your coles express your coles supermarket your kmart your target your big w these are obviously all australian like places i'm talking about and you just can't help it Oh, <laughs> yay. Well, there we go. We got an SAR. We got an SAR. What's his name? It's that. Oh, I remember it, but I don't remember it at the same time. Oh, I remember it, but I don't remember it. I pulled the trainer card of this at the, um, the pre-release. I probably have the actual trainer cards around here somewhere that I can kind of reference, actually. It's probably here somewhere. Give me a second. I could probably, I could probably rip one out. Um, it's not Leisure's Glaze. Gaze and Glaze. That doesn't sound right. Um, surely it's around here somewhere. Surely I've got one. There's no doubt I've got one. And then I don't have one. And now I'll be just sad. Uh, not Drayton. I think his name started with a C. Like, of course, I'm looking through all these and I probably don't have one. I should do it on camera so you know what I'm doing. I'm kind of like sitting there off camera, kind of like doing all this, just to like look through because I'm so curious what his name is now. I feel like it's a travesty not knowing what his name is. <laughs> Obviously, all these. There we go, Clement. So I told you it started with a C. Clement's quick wit. I knew it! See? I remember that much. It's just unfortunately I don't watch the actual anime and I don't play the current game at the moment so I'm, I can't keep up with all these little things. Um, that is... There we go. We're going to SAR. I mean, probably not the SAR that people would be wanting, but hey, I've gotten two boxes. I've hit an SAR. I'm more than happy with that. That being said, can these boxes have two SAR hits in one box? Is that a thing? Nope, there's a Durant. Because um, I don't... I don't think... Um, I don't think God Packs exist in normal sets, only in the high class sets, I believe. And the God Packs only started happening in Japanese for V-Star Universe. I think that was the first one, if I remember properly. I think, oh, whoa, Serial Edge. That looks sick. Wow. <laughs> that looks sick. That's going in the blue sleeve. <laughs> I ran out of blue sleeves on the last one because I didn't expect that many things to fall out of the box. 
Wow. That is cool. Japanese just hits different, man. Jesus. That looks so good. I love it. Kind of makes you feel like that should have been an alt art. <laughs> like that should have been an alt art. The way it's standing, it's just a stance. Everything just looks cool. Obviously from last time, I've learned how to open these packets a little bit, but now and then I butcher it completely. So yeah. Obviously, for you guys out there, if I'm going to open more Japanese boxes and stuff, more product here, if you guys are enjoying me opening... Oh, wow. That's three packs in a row? What is going on? I'm pretty sure that's Hydragon. I think that's his name. Hydragon? What's the other one? The first one I think I remember now is kind of... Was it Dwebble? Dwebble, and then the other one was... Something... I can't remember what the next part was. There's no way I'm going to remember the next part. So that's Dwebble, I think. I don't know what the other guy's name is. It will come to me after I finish this. It will come to me after I finish it. will be like, well, I don't have a chance to go and correct that little mistake now. Or rather, inquiry. Um, yeah, I'm wondering like, if these boxes can have like a double hit like the, the English ones can now and then. I'm not too certain. I'm uncertain of that, actually. And I'm very certain that the first Japanese booster box that did God Pack was V-Star because of that the nine Pokemon um, puzzle piece that all came together. Uh, what was it? The Swablu, the... God, there were so many in that one. Nine, obviously. Swablu, the Doof. The Doof. Pikachu. Paris. Riolu, I think? Can't remember. It's too many. Nothing in that one. But yeah, I'm wondering if these ones have double hits like the English boxes. Like, I would imagine you could. I would imagine there's boxes like that that do have double hits in them. Because, yeah, so V-Star had the God Pack. And then the next high class set after that was 151. One, and then Pal, they, the Shining Treasures one. And they all had God Packs in it. We definitely know they have God Packs in it. Because Tony went and cracked one in the last... um. The video where of the only shiny treasures box I've ever opened up with him, and the only one he's ever bought. So, what a hit rate, right? He's one for one on that. Is that a slacking? Well, we've we've hit doubles. We're we're we're, up, we're into doubles. And yeah, I'm definitely opening this a lot more faster. Oh my god, I've just completely just manhandled that packet right out of it. It doesn't it doesn't deserve a packet anymore. Diglett, Magneton. Trying to remember his name. I'm, I'm still trying to remember his name. Like what his name is. Let me see. They got Brewbond, Iron Moth, Slitherwing. Uh, oh god, I can't remember. Can't. Iron Bundle! Ha! I remembered! Iron Bundle. There we go. See? I got it. I don't need anyone to tell me anymore. I figured it out. We figure it out and pack it up. I'm going home. I'm remembering. I'm not going to mention. Don't play the game yet. I'll definitely. Oh, Scovelane. Capsicums. Spicy Boys. Um, I'll definitely be playing the next. Um, uh, the next generation of um, Pokemon games. I'll get a Switch at that point. I, stop. I still don't have a Switch for myself at the moment. But I will play the next one. For sure. Just at the moment. The cards are enough for me. Although, to be perfectly fair, I feel like the actual game is like a lot more inexpensive than cards. But, at the same time, it's hard to say which one's more fun. And Primeape. The angry, the angry boy. Primeape that got so angry. That, that, that evolution story is funny and sad at the same time. And also un unbelievable. Trying to explain that to someone, like, oh yeah, it evolves by dying because it got too angry. Excuse me? Yes, you heard me right. He got so angry, he died. And evolved. <laughs> Feels like me sometime. If I don't get my coffee on time, I will get angry and I'll evolve. Hopefully not die. Alright, I've got a few packs left. I'm definitely opening these a lot more faster. Which is also probably handy because um, 
in the coming days um, from now. Ah, oh, Kecleon? Kecleon? Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kecleon? Um, in the coming days, I should be starting up the, um, all my channel, like the Rip and Ship streams on there. You guys are all more than welcome to join those. Um, I'll put the TikTok and like my TikTok channel and that kind of stuff in the description below. It'd also be like amazing if you guys could like follow, follow and support the videos on there. I mainly put like a lot of highlights on there besides doing a streaming and everything. So, oh, we've got the same eight spec as the last box as well. Still don't know what it is though. And that Alolan dig looks awesome. You know what? The other card I want, the other AR I want, and it's it's just a stupid it's it's a stupid chase. I want the Alolan Diglet. I want the AR of the Diglet. The Duck Trio, sorry. Duck Trio. I want those. Just because they just A bunch of Fabio looking Diglets. If you don't know who Fabio is, the handsome handsome man with blonde hair riding on the back of a white horse is that kind of deal. I'm pretty I I don't know if that's that was the uh if that was the inspiration, or if it's meant to like be like surfer, like the surfer, like um, the surfer look for inspiration, but yeah. But as I was mentioning with the TikTok channel, it's good on doing this because we'll be opening a lot of Japanese product on there. Um, I'm gonna start to get into One Piece, so if you're into Pokemon, One Piece, Dragon Ball, a bunch of other random stuff as well, we'll be opening that on the TikTok channel as well. Um, it should be cool, but this is helping me kind of get used to opening stuff, so I'm not sitting there like for half an hour opening one person's uh, orders and all that kind of stuff. And hopefully, I'm able to produce some luck on there for anyone buying in. So we've got four packs to go. Can we get some some four pack match. Yeah, I feel like we've got like another full art lying around somewhere in here. Like I don't think we've gotten a full art yet. Nah, well, there's probably like two full arts in these last four packets. I would, I would imagine that there's like two full arts in these last four packets. Nope, there's nothing in this one. Okay, uh, two full arts in these last three packets? Question mark? And in terms of ARs, we've only got two ARs. So maybe... Actually, no, not two full arts. We only got one full art in the other one. So probably one AR and one full art. Right? 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 Wrong. Two pack magic. Last two. I mean, I'm just, I'm looking at it. And this box is looking a little light. But also that could be because the SAR took one of the slots of the hits. Like I said, I'm not I'm not I'm not well versed enough with Japanese product to Oh okay, we got We got our secondary terror. So it does look like it still follows a formula. So if it's following a formula. If it's following a formula, this last packet should be a full art. It should be a full art. It should be a full art. Because I'm almost certain the SAR took up the slot of the AR. Because there's no full art yet in this pool. Or oh, I'm wrong. Or it's a double hit. Nah, okay, so. I was not. Actually, no, I wasn't wrong, actually. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. It was going to take the slot of an AR, or it was going to take the slot of a full art. And, you know what, to be perfectly fair, I'm happy about taking the slot of a full art over the AR because these cards look so goofy. <laughs> it's like just... Oh, that's a vibe. That's a vibe right there. Alright, let's just chuck all these together. Kind of go through them. Let's put this one at the back because obviously that's the hero of the box. Uh, a Cofagrigus. Terapagos. Can't remember what that one was. Tatsugiri EX. Skelly Dirge. Uh, Tapu Koko. Apple Coco, uh, Kecleon, Scovelane, Hydragon, Slacking EX, Serilege, which is just cool. I like that. That looks so cool. And the lights right now are just like absolutely making it so hard because it's reflecting off the plastic of the sleeve. I apologize. Uh, we got Durant, Eternatus. <laughs> Oh my god, what is his name again? <laughs> you got... You got Slacking, you got Vigoroth... Slack off, there we go. <laughs> we remembered it, we remembered it. And then we got the Clements. 
quick wit. That's that is sick. Um, probably not the biggest value SAR if you're into like you know, if you're chasing the Japanese thing, but it's an SAR nonetheless. Pretty happy with that. So it it really does look nice though. Like I feel like. I'm more likely to send Japanese cards in for grading than I am for English at the moment. I don't know why. It's kind of backwards. Kind of backwards. I know it's backwards. Don't hate me. It's backwards. I know it's backwards. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys enjoyed me, like, suddenly opening up Japanese product. I'm pretty sure that was, like, not really on the channel's um, bingo sheet for this month, really, to be honest with you. Um, Surging Sparks right around the corner a couple days away look forward to that and then i think if if by now you guys have all heard of the uh, the announcement of the uh, evolution set that's coming out next year it's gonna be a doozy it's gonna be a big one either way i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for joining me i'll catch you on the next one